Hello, welcome to my channel, Rhombus. A regular tetrahedron is inscribed in a sphere. If the side length of the tetrahedron is 12 centimeters, then what is the radius of the sphere? So let's first mark down um, what we know. We know that the edge length of the tetrahedron is 12 centimeters. The problem also states that it's a regular tetrahedron, which means that all the edges on the tetrahedron are 12 centimeters as well. Um, and that's the only thing we know. And using that information, we need to figure out the radius of the sphere, which we'll call r. Now, with only the tetrahedron's edge length, we cannot find the radius of the sphere. Um, that's why we need to add in an inscribed cube to our diagram. So um, this is how it would look. We can see under diagram two that the cube is fully in line with the tetrahedron. The reason that the cube perfectly fits around the tetrahedron is one, because the tetrahedron is regular. All the sides and faces and edges are the same. Um, and also because the tetrahedron's vertices all touch one of the cube's vertices as well. Um, if you search it up, you'll also find another image of um, what I'm trying to describe here with a cube and a tetrahedron. So the reason we need a cube to solve this problem is because unlike a tetrahedron, we can figure out the radius of the sphere using the cube's edge value. In order to figure out the edge value, we need to take a closer look into our diagram. We can see that every edge of the tetrahedron creates a diagonal like this on each of the faces of our cube. Now let's visualize this two dimensionally. So let me just take another color. Let's take a look at this face of the cube. So I'm going to draw it out on the side right here. And then using my green, I'm going to draw the edge of the tetrahedron. Now, two dimensionally, this looks like a square with its diagonal. And that's perfect because we can figure out the edge of the cube using our diagonal, which is formed by the tetrahedron's edge. So if E is equal to our edge of the square, then the diagonal is worth E square root 2. Since we know that our tetrahedron's edge value is 12, we can just say that E square root 2 is equal to 12. Now that we have an equation, we can figure out what E is and figure out the edge value of our cube. So if we solve this equation, we get that E is equal to 6 square root 2. Now, like I mentioned earlier, using our edge value, we can figure out our sphere's radius. We can do this because when a cube is inscribed in the sphere, the space diagonal, so space diagonal, the space diagonal of the cube is equal to the diameter of the sphere. So the diameter of the sphere. And this is very important because it can help us figure out the answer to our solution. So we now can figure out our space diagonal value since we know that the cube's edge length is 6 square root 2. So um, the formula to obtain the diagonal, the space diagonal of the cube, is um, e times the square root of 3, where e again is our edge. So if we know that our e value is um, 6 square root 2, we can plug it into the formula. So um, e times the square root of 3 is equal to 6 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. Now if we solve that, we get 6 square root 6. That is the value of our space diagonal. Let me mark it down on the diagram. So this can be our space diagonal from this opposite um, corner to the opposite corner of the cube. That's 6 square root 6. Now, it's also the diameter of our sphere. So I will also mark that down. 6 square root 6. And this just is... Um, a coincidence because the cube happens to align perfectly with the sphere when it's inscribed inside of it. Now, since we have the 
diameter of our sphere, all we need to do is divide that by two to figure out the radius of our sphere, and that will give us our final answer. So six square root six divided by two gives us our final answer, three square root six. I hope this video was helpful and you were able to learn a thing or two about um, these three-dimensional shapes and how their relations can help us figure out the answer to a tricky problem like this one.